Hello and welcome to Learn to Mod. My name is Ben, I'm a member of the Learn to Mod team, and I'll be your guide through this video tutorial series. To begin, some of you might be wondering, what is Learn to Mod? Excellent question! Many of you watching have probably heard of the game Minecraft. For those of you who haven't, it looks something like this. Minecraft is a fantastic world built from blocks that you can gather and recombine into some pretty fantastic creations. Sometimes, though, it can be difficult to create exactly what you want. Maybe you want to build something really big, and it's really slow to do it one block at a time. Maybe you want to build some unique elements in the game that require different blocks and mechanics than what you can normally find in Minecraft. And maybe you are just sick of creepers blowing up everything you make. This is where Learn to Mod comes in handy. With Learn to Mod, you can directly change the code that runs Minecraft. This means that if you don't like something about the game, or you want to add something in, you can modify or mod. You can make mods that will build structure for you, or mods that will change what your world looks like. You can even give your character superpowers. There are all sorts of cool things to do, the only limit is your imagination. Let's take a quick tour of Learn to Mod. If you go to learntomod.com and click Login, you'll be taken to a page where you can type in your email address and password. Once you've logged in, you'll be taken to our homepage. There's a lot of cool stuff to do here, and I encourage you to explore all of it. There are a few features you'll definitely want to check out, though. First, I recommend checking out Badges. You'll find Badges under the Learn tab. Click Do Badges. Learn to Mod comes with a whole assortment of interactive guides that will walk you through some of the basics of many cool projects. If you find something you're interested, click on it to check it out. Before you start modding, I would highly recommend that you complete the Skills and Drills badge collection first, as these will guide you through the basics of coding with Learn to Mod and will save you a lot of time and frustration in the process. If you want to see some cool examples of mods, I would highly recommend checking out our Curated section. You'll find this on the home page just by scrolling down. Here, you will see mods that have been officially endorsed by Learn to Mod because of how cool and unique they are. We've split these mods into four sections. First, you'll see Mods, which contain a whole assortment of different projects. Next, you'll see Schematics, which you can use to place buildings with the click of a button. Texture Packs will change the appearance of your world, and World will change what your default world looks like. If you want to try making a mod, go ahead and click Play, and then click Mods. This will take you to your mod page, which will show you all the mods that you've made so far. For a full guide on making your first mod, I would recommend checking out our Making Your First Mod video. To use your mods, you'll need to connect to a Minecraft server. You'll find your server under Play, My Server. For a full guide of connecting to your server, check out the video, How to Connect to a Learn to Mod Server. While navigating Learn to Mod, you may find yourself frequently navigating between different pages on the website. This can be a bit frustrating and time-consuming. To help speed up your Learn to Mod experience, we recommend using tabbed browsing. Tabbed browsing is essentially just opening up multiple web browsers at once. To open a new tab, click the Tab button at the top of your screen. This will open a new tab, and we can swap between these two tabs at any time we want just by clicking on them. In this new tab, we can navigate to whatever Learn to Mod page we like, and easily swap between them at the click of a button. Using tabbed browsing, you can quickly open up and navigate to all the web pages you need. To close the tab, click the X button on the right-hand side of it. Make sure not to click the X button in the upper right-hand corner, as this will close your entire window. This brings us to the end of our tour. If you have any questions, you can check out our community forum. You'll find it under the Social tab. Here, you can ask a question, and the folks here at learn to mod or other learn to mod users will try to answer it for you. Be sure to check out our other videos as well, as they are all chock-full of useful information. Thanks for watching! and have fun modding.